Hi guys! Welcome to another episode of LearnNet with Sir Mark and on this video, I'm going to discuss solving quadratic equation by extracting roots. But before anything else, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click the bell button so that you will be notified whenever I'm going to upload a new video. So if you're ready, let's begin! Okay, so before we solve quadratic equations by extracting roots, so once again, let us define what is quadratic equation. Equations in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a is not equal to 0, is called quadratic equations. They may have 2, 1, or 0 solutions. So the table here, okay, shows the three different scenarios. See that? As you can see here, so this is an example of quadratic equation with two solutions. Okay, the second one is a quadratic equation with one solution. And lastly, this, uh, this is a quadratic equation with zero or no real solutions. Okay? Now, so equations of the form x squared equals k can be solved by simply extracting the roots. Okay, but take note of this. So there are three possible uh, cases here. So if x squared equals k, then x equals plus minus square root of k if k equal, uh, k is greater than zero x is 0 if k is 0. There are no real solutions if k is less than 0 or kung negative siya. Okay, let's have example. Okay, so of course, our first thing to do here is to combine like terms. That will be 15 minus 1, so that's 14. Right? Divide both sides by 2, so I'm going to have x squared equals 7. Okay, this will fall under case 1, so k is positive and that is 7. So therefore, the answer that we're expecting is just extract the square root. So x equals plus minus square root of 7. If your answer is just square root of 7, mali. So take note, yung second degree dyan as much as possible, so dapat dalawa yung roots mo. Okay? Next, number 2. Alright. So 2 minus 3x squared equals 8. Like, like what we did, so combine like terms, that will be 8 minus 2, that will become 6. Divide both sides by negative 3, so I'm going to have a quotient of negative 2. Now, again, this will fall under the third case. K is less than 0, which is negative 2. So, therefore, there are no real solutions. Okay? No real solutions. Okay? Solutions. See that? Okay, next. Number 3. So... So for x, quantity x minus 3 to be squared equals 16. So extracting the roots, so I'm going to have uh, plus minus 4. And clearly, transpose screen 3, I'm going to have 3 plus minus 4. And therefore, x equals 3 plus 4, that will become 7. 3 minus 4, that will be negative 1. See that? So those are the two answers. And you can easily check it by substituting it to the original equation. See that? Okay, next, how about number 4? Same like what we did in number 3, so extract the square root, that will be x plus 2 equals plus minus square root of 11. And that's it. All we have to do is x lang, kailangan lang, all we have to do is to transpose 2. So that will be negative 2 plus minus square root of 11. See that? Okay, next. Okay, zero product property of real numbers. When the product of two or more numbers is zero, then at least one of them must be zero. Tama? If a, b, or a times b equals zero, then a is zero or b is zero. Okay? So, take note of that. ZPP. Alright, so example number five. So, clearly, okay, so, pwede kong nang i-divide both sides by three. So, tama? So, that will be uh, x times x minus five equals zero. So, clearly, by zero property zero product property so the values of x here are zero and five see that okay next same with this naka factored form na siya. that's the good thing here so clearly ang value ng x ko four and negative seven over three transpose ko yan so that will be negative seven divided by three see that okay next now, take note of this. I emphasize this. Illegal canceling. Okay, normally, what's 
what we are doing here is just cancel x right away. Tama? By doing that, so what will happen here is x equals 3 na lang. Tama? Take note, dapat dalawa yung sagot as much as possible, right? So therefore, uh, that's wrong. You cannot just divide, uh, elite, cancel x. Okay, so what's the proper? Okay, let's follow ZPP. So x squared minus 3x. So in equate ko kay 0, factor out ko ang x. So this will be the resulting equation, right? x times x minus 3 equals 0. And clearly, the values of x here are 0 and 3. See that? Okay, take note of this. We must never cancel a variable that is a common factor from both sides of an equation unless we know that the factor cannot be 0. Clear? Okay, example number 8. Now, uh, you are already familiar in factoring trinomial in your grade 7, right? So, all we have to do is just to express this as uh, equate it to 0. So, x squared plus 3x minus 28 equals 0. Clearly, factorable yan. So, factors ng negative 28. So, that will be positive 7, x plus 7, then x minus 4 equals 0. See that? By ZPP, obviously, x is negative 7 and 4. See that? Okay, next. How about this one? So, like what we did in number 8, so equate natin kay 0. So, that will be 5x squared minus 3x minus 2 equals 0. So, factorable then dapat. So, since ang coefficient ng quadratic term is 5, which is prime, so 5x yan, the other one is x. Okay, 2. Okay, 2. Okay, negative 2. So, that is negative 2 positive 1 or the other way around. But take note, the pro, the the middle term should be negative 5. Okay, so kung ne, trial and error, if this is negative 2, this is positive, so the product will become negative 2x, this one will become 5x. And the sum is positive 3x. But what we wanted here is negative. So, balik ta rin. So, this one will become positive. See that? This one will become negative. And we can check that. Alright, once again, this is Positive 2, this is negative 5. If we're going to combine it, negative 3. See that? There you go. Okay, so therefore, the values of x here are negative 2 pips. Okay, well, this one is 1. See that? Okay, that's how we solve this problem number 9 by factoring. But there's an alternative solution. Okay, my alternative solution to. So I call it as splitting the meter terms. Okay. So, any middle term? So, by the way, equate natin to sa 0. So, that is 5x squared minus 3x. Okay, minus 3x minus 2 equals 0. So, what I'm going to do, okay, is to split the middle term. The middle term. Okay, so ano ibig ko sabihin? Alright, so uh, this one will become 5x squared. I'll just, I'll just copy it. So, ang negative 3x is negative 5x plus 2x. Right? So, once again, in split ko siya in such a way, may mapapaktor ako. Okay, so this one here is equivalent to negative 3x. Right? Okay, so... Okay, so, now, taking a consideration on the first two, I can simply factor out 5x, right? So, what will be left here is x minus 1. Plus, same thing, mapapactor out ko yung 2, x minus 1 equals 0. See that? Then, from here, mapapactor ko ngayon yung x minus 1, okay? What will be left here is 5x plus 2 equal 0. And by ZPP, so the values of x here are 1 and negative 2 pips. Okay, which is the same, okay, which is the same neto, 1 and negative 2 pips. See that? Okay. Next, last problem for this video, okay. So, all we have to do is to convert it into quadratic equation. How? By multiplying it to x times x plus 1. That is, okay, multiply ko yan. So, that will be 4x plus 4, alright? Multiply ko to, minus x, 
and then all over, all right, all over the product of this. X times X plus 1 equals negative 1. See that? Then combine like terms. So 4X minus X, so that will become 3X plus 4, okay, equals, this is X squared, multiply to negative 1, that will become negative X squared. This is positive x, multiply to negative 1, that will become negative x. Then, establish the quadratic equation, okay, equal to 0. So, that will be x squared, negative x transpose, that will become positive 4x, 3x plus x, plus 4 equals 0. And clearly, uh, factorable yan, tama? So, that's simply x plus 2 to be squared. So, clearly, ang value ng x ko is x equals negative Okay, bakit isa lang? Actually, dalawa yan. Kaya lang equal. See that? Okay, so I hope uh, I'm, uh, you learned something on this uh, episode on extracting the roots of quadratic equations. So, feel free to share and subscribe. Keep safe.